Hello friends, Namaskar, this is Sanjay. Welcome to part 3 of this video series where we will be talking about the influence of heredity and environment on child development. This happens to be the third chapter in the CTET CDP syllabus. In every video of this series, we will cover only those topics from each chapter which are important from an exam point of view. So in this video, we will be talking about heredity and environment. What are they? Heredity and genetics. What is the relationship between these two terms? Hereditary factors and their influence on development. Environmental factors and their influence on development. And we will also solve five sample questions from previous question papers. So let us get started. The first step is to understand what are these heredity and environment. We have already spoken about this in one of the previous videos. But uh, heredity and environment are the two most important factors that influence a child's development. Because hereditary factors and environmental factors will affect all the types of development in a child. So heredity is nothing but nature and environment is nothing but nurture. So heredity are all those attributes that we inherit from our parents through our genes or through our DNA. So these might be physical attributes like uh, what can be my possible height, what will be my bone structure, what will be my color of the eyes. So most of the physical attributes are affected by hereditary factors and environmental factors which is nurture is the type of environment that the child is brought up in. It might be the type of food the child is getting, the shelter, the family environment, the type of education that the child is getting. So these two factors nature and nurture that is heredity and environment interact with each other to affect all the types of development in a child. Heredity and genetics. Let's understand what is the relationship between these two terms. Well, just like zoology is the study of animals and botany is the study of plants. So similarly, genetics is the study of heredity. And Gregor Mendel is uh, considered to be the father of modern genetics because he conducted some of the original experiments in the field of uh, genetics. And he conducted these experiments mostly with pea plants or what are called as uh, mutter in Hindi. For his experiments, Gregor Mendel took various types of pea plants. He took some tall plants and some short plants, some plants which had uh, yellow color seeds, some plants which had uh, green color seeds and he crossed all these different types of plants to see what would be the result. So if you cross a tall pea plant with a short plant, what would be the result? If you crossed a pea plant which has uh, yellow color seeds, with a pea plant which has green color seeds, what would be the result? And he came up with some theories saying that uh, there are some dominant traits and there are some recessive traits. And on the basis of his original experiments in the field of genetics, later scientists developed those theories and extended on what the foundation that he had built. Therefore, Gregor Mendel is called the father of modern genetics. Next, let us look at uh, hereditary factors and uh, their influence on the development of a child. Well, heredity mainly influences the physical development or the physical characteristics of a person. Now, there are plenty of experiments being conducted and there seems to be plenty of uh, information or data that is available to show that heredity also affects the intelligence or the cognitive development of a child. However, to what extent is something that is still being discussed and debated. But we know for sure that heredity influences or definitely influences the physical development of a child because the physical appearance of the child, whether the child will be short, short or tall or uh, what kind of uh, face structure or what kind of uh, eyes the child will have or the voice, the athletic abilities, the balance and coordination. So all these are physical attributes that the child can inherit from his or her parents or even grandparents or great grandparents because some of these characteristics might skip one generation and appear in the next generation. Now, heredity is not the only factor that influences all these physical attributes because as we discussed in the previous slide, when we talk about uh, development, there are two factors, nature and nurture. So heredity is just nature, even nurture, that is the kind of uh, food, shelter, family environment, the kind of education, physical activity. So all such environmental factors also affect physical development or the physical characteristics of a person. Now, when we see that uh, heredity definitely affects the physical development of a child, there is one interesting experiment that you can read about. That is, 
there is a community called the Siddhi community in Karnataka. And the Siddhi community can trace their origin back to Southeast Asia. And as you can see around the world, in various sports, people of African descent seem to be doing exceptionally well. It might be because of their inherent uh, genetic advantage, their uh, great musculature. So there might be plenty of uh, genetic reasons as to why they are doing well in a lot of uh, physical sports across the world. So what the government of India or the Karnataka government is also trying to do is to see if uh, children from the Siddhi community, because they are of an African descent. Right? So if uh, children from this community are given specific attention and uh, trained in various uh, sports, can they do well in all these chosen sports? So that's something which is being uh, conducted as an experiment in Karnataka that you can read about on various websites and Wikipedia as well. Next, let us look at environmental factors and their influence on the development of a child. Well, environment is nothing but nurture and it not only influences the physical development of a child, it also influences the mental development or the cognitive development and many of the characteristics that the child will develop. That is, nurture will affect physical growth, intelligence, education, social skills, emotional intelligence, interests and beliefs of the child. Therefore, environment or nurture plays a very very important part in the development of a child. Now what are these environmental factors? These are nothing but food because food is not only important for physical development because there are many nutrients which are essential for the development of the brain as well which will in turn affect the cognitive development of the child. So food is very very important and then shelter, the type of family interactions that the child has, the kind of education that the child gets the type of friends that the child has and what kind of society the child lives in and what kind of social interactions that the child has. So all of these are very important environmental factors which affect or influence all the aspects of development of a child. Moving on to the questions, the first question is asking us that a six-year-old girl shows exceptional sporting ability. That is, she is very good at sports and both of her parents are sports persons. And they send her for coaching every day and they train her on weekends and her capabilities are most likely to be the result as an interaction between which of the two factors. Now here because we are being told that both of her parents are sports persons. Therefore it is highly likely that the athletic or the sporting ability of the child is because of heredity. Right? So heredity is one of the options and just heredity does not guarantee the growth and development of a child, even environmental factors are also very important. Therefore, the correct answer here is heredity and environment. Which one of the following statements is true regarding the role of heredity and environment in human development? Now, we have been given four statements. These are quite long statements, but read them carefully and you will see that three of the statements are incorrect and only one statement is correct. The first one says, the role of environment is fixed, whereas the impact of heredity can be altered. This is incorrect because you cannot change what is there in your DNA, what is there in your genes. So heredity cannot be altered, whereas environment can be altered. You can give a person better food, you can give the person better facilities, you can give the person better education. So environment is not fixed. Heredity is fixed. Therefore, this statement is incorrect. Next. The theories based on behaviorism are largely based on the role of nature in human development. This is also incorrect because behaviorism theories are based on nurture in human development. That is how the child or how the person is brought up, not what is there in the genes or in the DNA of the person. Therefore, this statement is also incorrect. The last one, the policy of compensatory discrimination, that is the reservations or other benefits that are given to the socially backward or economically backward classes. Right? So the policy of compensatory discrimination is based on nature. Now this again is incorrect because if you look at uh, most of the policies, they are based on nurture and not nature. Right? Therefore, the last one is also incorrect. Now the third statement which says that the relative effect of heredity and environment vary in different areas of development. This is the correct statement and the answer to this question because heredity affects physical development more whereas environment affects physical development and all the other aspects of development as well 
and both of these play a different role in different types of development therefore they vary in their effect on various types of development therefore the third option is the correct answer to this question which of the following is predominantly a heredity related factor now we have to identify which of these factors are affected by heredity now participation in social activities is not because of what is there in a person's genes or dna and attitude towards a peer group that is how the child will interact with a peer group that is also not written in anybody's dna thinking pattern is also not written in anybody's uh, genes now color of the eyes is definitely something that is affected by heredity because if the parents or the grandparents or the great grandparents have green colored eyes then there are chances that the child will also have green colored eyes because many of these uh, traits physical traits are transmitted through genes and sometimes it may skip one generation and appear in the next generation but still these are traits that can be passed on through the genes or the dna therefore color of the eyes is predominantly affected by heredity environmental factors that shape development include all of the following except which of the following now environmental factors or all those factors which can affect the development of a child apart from the nature or the hereditary factors now if you look at all of these the culture in which the child is brought up is a environmental factor quality of education is also an environmental factor quality of nutrition that is of type of food that the child is getting is also an environmental factor physique that is whether the child is tall or whether the child is short is not an environmental factor it can be the result of hereditary factors and it can be the result of environmental factors but it itself is not a environmental factor therefore the correct answer here is physique because it is not a environmental factor whereas all the other options are environmental factors a child learns properly in an environment which does which of the following now i have chosen this question because if you read through the options at least three of the options are correct to some extent so we have to identify the best among the three options now the one option which is there is strict discipline this can be eliminated because very strict discipline is not good for bringing up a child so eliminate that now if you look at the last one opportunities to make friends this is correct because this will affect the social development of the child then ample space to play now play is also very very important in the social emotional and physical development of the child therefore this is also correct and the first one gives due weightage to emotions and experiences of a child this is also absolutely correct now we have to choose which of the statements is correct we have to choose which of the statements is the strongest now the first one which says that due weightage to emotions and experiences this is the best answer to this question because in experiences you can also put play in experiences you can also put the opportunity to make friends now emotions the child learns a lot of about emotions and uh, learns to control emotions through play and the child will also go through a lot of emotional experiences when he or she works with or plays with friends so if you look at it the first statement that is giving due weightage to both emotions and experiences is the strongest among the three possible correct answers therefore this is the best answer to this question and with that we have come to the end of this part if you have any questions or feedback please put them in the comment section below and the rest you know what to do so i'll see you again in the next part of this video series till then take care stay safe